What's up kings and queens, this is King Tech HD, and today we're gonna review the Arc Pulse. Now I picked this up about 72 hours, so I haven't gave it a week yet. I did wanna get this review out there. I post a sneak preview of this video on X and it went bananas. I had people <laughs> from calling me out my names, from like, what the hell is that contraction? and all types of things from you love it or you hate it. Either way, I do recommend you giving it a try. If you get it from ARC's website, I believe it's ARC.cc. I'll put the link in the description. If you get it from the website, you have a 14 day money back guarantee if you have any issues. Now that doesn't include if it's damaged and you know things like that. But if you have issues with MagSafe, or you just don't like it within 14 days, contact them. They do have a 14 day return policy. Me on the other hand, I saw that Amazon was selling this and they have a 30 day money back guarantee. Free exchanges, that's where I went with. I was like, you know what? Let me get an extended review period time. Just in case if I don't like it, I could just send it back to the Amazon world and then they'll just dump it in a landfill somewhere. No, I'm joking. Um, I don't know what they do with returns, but that's another video for another day. That being said, this is the Arc Pulse. It comes in this black box. It has a QR code and then instructions telling you how to put this baby on. The presentation is pretty nice. Arc Pulse, aluminum. You have this little paper. So it doesn't scratch doing shipping. And then your two pieces will come here. So it'll be your top piece and then your bottom piece. And then that's it. That's all the presentation. So the presentation was awesome when I unboxed this. Being that this is the black, matte black, I have the matte dark D brand skin x-ray on this already so i have it on the camera module i have it all on the back of the phone so that's where you see this is a d brand skin x-ray dark version that you see sorry about that i had to pause for a second my cat was getting into a cardboard box and just ripping through it it was just making too much noise so we're going to try to keep it moving i do have two cats in the background they're not fighting each other they're fighting cardboard boxes that we get from Amazon. So let's get to it. This case is frameless. So it's like the one I showed that I said, don't buy yesterday. If you're looking in the future, then this is of course the next video. The last video I posted said, don't buy this. It's a different case. This one at the end of the video is what you should buy. No matter if you love it, if you hate it, please give it a try because this is definitely a case that's unique. It does have the protection on the sides. So you got your drop protection, but it's a very, very minimalistic case. As you can see, this is it. That's the whole case. This top portion and then this bottom portion. That's the whole entire case that you get. It is aluminum. So it's high quality. This does feel great in your hand. You have your raised lip protection for if you lay it flat, it's gonna be more on the bumpers than your screen. And if you lay it on the back, it's gonna also be more on the case and not your camera module because it sticks out further than your camera module does. And then if you drop it, it's gonna drop more than likely, hopefully, on these bumpers. So you will be protected. It does give you a minimalistic feel and a minimalistic protection. So you do have to be careful with this thing, but other than that, it's more about it just being, for me, an elegant piece to also just bring out the D brand skin that I have. I have that black D brand skin, have that black Arc Pulse case 
it just looks like a match made in heaven. So it complements my D brand scan. That's what I was looking for. I was like, what word am I looking for? It complements my D brand scan. Now I have five or six MagSafe accessories. I'm gonna give a try just so I can show you if it works with MagSafe or not. You can return it within the 14 days on ARC's website if it doesn't work with your MagSafe accessories and you don't like it. Now, Amazon's 30 days money back guarantee. You can return it if you're having issues with your MagSafe accessories. Now, let's start off with the pop socket. This is the pop socket. I believe this is the grip. So, it, it picks it up just fine. But unfortunately, it doesn't connect to this bottom. See, this bottom is exposed. You can see the little gap right here. So the bottom piece doesn't connect to the phone itself because of this little aluminum piece at the bottom. This is an issue with the 15 Pro and the 15 series. So if you have a iPhone that is 6.1 inches, you're gonna have some issues with your MagSafe. If you have an iPhone that's the Pro Max or Plus versions, then you shouldn't have any issues being that they have a bigger frame and you're not gonna have issues at the bottom like I have with these MagSafe accessories. Since you have a bigger phone, it's gonna give you more space for your MagSafe accessories. So you will have issues with the regular 15 and the 15 Pro sizes, MagSafe working on this, connecting to the bottom. That was a pop socket. So it works, it does work just fine, but it gives you some kind of gap on the bottom where it touches. So you can see that. So we have the Moft tripod. It doesn't really stick. It tries to, it tries to find that magnet. But as you can see, it, it just doesn't connect. So if you wanted to, you could probably sit this up and lean in against something. It may get you by, but I wouldn't feel confident if you move your phone, it's just gonna slide right off. So this is a no. The pop socket is a maybe. We got the Apple leather MagSafe wallet. Pop that baby on. Got the animation right there. So it detects the wallet, but just like that pop socket, it doesn't flush on the back of the phone. So see, you see the little gap at the bottom right here. And then I got the vibration on front. So it sticks on, but unfortunately it's not gonna stay on because it doesn't really fully connect to the back of your phone. So that one's a no. We got the Apple MagSafe Lightning port, <laughs> MagSafe battery pack. Let's pop this baby on. It starts charging, but unfortunately, still bumping up against the back of the phone. There we go. Try to focus for you. So this one is gonna fall off too because of this back plate on the Arc Pulse. So that one is not gonna work as well. Let's get some things that will work. Okay, this ain't just a video bashing what won't work. It does have some things that will work. We got that Anchor Chi 2 that just came out, Maggo. That baby works just fine, as you can see. Doesn't have any issues, I can shake it. It's not going nowhere. So this baby is good. Your Chi 2 Anchor MagSafe charger will work just fine. And then I also have an ESR car mount that I use. That baby worked just fine. See, it ain't going nowhere. So that baby works just fine too. So two things work just fine, car mounts, and then that Mago, because it doesn't touch the bottom of this aluminum plate right here. 
So if it's not touching the bottom of this aluminum plate, then things are gonna work just fine with that MagSafe ring that you have for your 15 and 15 Pro. So if you have a 6.1 inch iPhone, you are gonna have some issues with some things working, some things will not work when it comes to MagSafe accessories. But if you have a 6.7 inch iPhone that Plus or Pro Max, you should have better uh, acceptance of MagSafe accessories working. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna give this case a major, major go, as the words of Fox Carter. That is two majors, not three yet. I still got some few days to test it, and then I'll do a follow-up, either video or a follow-up short, and give you my conclusion. I just wanted to give you a quick peek at what I am testing currently, and that is the Arc Pulse for the 15 Pro. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Peace.